What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Gengar for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Gengar, we all know this Pokemon is a glass cannon, which means it cannot take a hit, but it can hit like an absolute truck, which is why we got the Focus Sash as this item. It also has Cursed Body as its ability, rocking the Poison Tire type for a little bit of an extra damage boost. Then it's got Sludge Bomb. It's got Sucker Punch for first turn priority. It also has Curse and Trick Room in case you want to pop or cancel out Trick Room. So really liking this Gengar set. Cannot wait to use it. Other Pokemon on today's squad features the Rain Squad, one of the best in Regulation H, Arceludon, Pelipper, and Basque Legion. Now this one is a little bit different than normal considering Pelipper is rocking the choice specs as its item. So this Pokemon actually works as a great special attacker. It's got Drizzle, Hurricane, Weather Ball, Muddy Water, and Ice Beam. Basque Legion's got the Safety Goggles, Adaptability, Normal Moveset of Wave Crash, Aqua Jet, and Lancer Specs, and then the Arceludon rocking the Assault Vest so it's a nice little bulky stamina. Defense boost user with Electro Shot, Draco Meter, Flash Cannon, and Snarl. Kind of weird, it's not rocking body press, but I actually really do like that move set. Our final two Pokemon on today's team features Amoongus and Incineroar. Now, this is kind of weird considering Amoongus has got the Life Orb and Incineroar's got Sword Stance. Should be fun. They're meta Pokemon, but we're going to be using them a bit differently today. Guys, want to run the team for yourself? Another code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Gengar team. First match on its way, and we're going up against an Ursa Luna team. They also got Amoongus, they got Double Dragon with Dragon Knight and Garchomp, and then they got Wimscott. And last but not least, King Gambit. Now, honestly, they're not expecting the ye old Amoongus play. They're not expecting Amoongus, they're, let alone they're not expecting Incineroar to pop Sword Sand. So, honestly, I think just leading Incineroar and Gengar is probably going to be our play because our team is rather slow like if you look at it right here 58 with the power weight you also got amoongus which we already know is super slow um what you got here 31 gengar how fast are you you're probably like mid speed maybe a little bit higher yeah mid speed right now everybody is slow so trick room is going to be our best friend it really is that's just pelipper speed 81 what you got pelipper <laughs> what do you got pelipper you got 63. This team's slow. This thing's adaptability. It's not Swift Swim. This team is so slow. So, honestly, I really like going Gengar here, popping Trick Room with Incineroar. Because they probably think we're going to fake out and we can just, like, set up Swords Dance instead. I like that. And then, in the back end, we could bring Amoongus. And Pelipper? I kind of want Choice Scarf Pelipper. Or I could go Arch Lunon. I kind of want Pelipper. I feel like Pelipper can really, really rock with choice specs. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So this team, again, really slow. But we got Gengar to pop that trick room with the Focus Ash, which is always good. And I'd like this Incineroar lead because I'm hoping they're going to think that we're faking out. So they're just going to put up a Protect Shield. And then we just set up Trick Room and Sword Saints at the same time. Let's see. Garchomp and... Garchomp and Dragonite come out here. Turn one. I think this is just a fine turn for us to actually do this. And you're not in our focus, which is huge. Or clear amulet. So, Timmy gonna work wonders. We're not faking out. We're just gonna pop a sword stance and we are gonna set up the Shrick Room. I could Terrasize Incineroar, but again, I think there's a chance that, like, someone's gotta protect because one, you're not in our focus, and two, I think they're gonna protect. So, let's try this out. Let's try this out. Hopefully, we get a protect or even a swap. Or even a swap here. There's the protect. That's exactly what we were looking for there. That is exactly what we're looking for. So there's one protect. Two protects. Not one, but two protects. And we get off an insane first turn here with Gengar and Incineroar. So Sword Stance pops with Incineroar. They weren't expecting that. And out comes Trick Room. Oh my lord, that is beautiful. That is just a beautiful sight to see. That is just a beautiful sight to see. So now we're Sword Stance boosted plus two. I could go Ghost Terror. Which honestly might be our best bet. Especially if they want to go for like E speeds here. We can just be ghost type here. And then I can throw a knockoff. I think Garchomp is probably the bigger threat right now. So I might just double down to Garchomp here. You know what? No, we'll go for knockoff and we will go for Sludge Bomb here. Nice, beautiful. That's a huge turn for us. That is a huge turn for us. What a way to get this video started. What a way. Sword Stance and Trick Room. They were not expecting that. So, out comes our lovely little Ghost Terror. Just in case, like, E-Speed's coming out here. Plus, we'd rather be, uh, neutral to ground moves. And Knockoff's gonna launch here and do a lot. <laughs> a lot. Enough damage, I should say. One tap in this Garchomp. Bye-bye. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. 
And that was our life orb user. And Sludge Bomb's gonna launch him. We got a poison here as well. You're multi scale, but Scale Shot's gonna launch here, and we're gonna be able to soak this, no problem. The Scale Shot coming out here, it's gonna boost this user's speed, which is totally fine. It is totally fine you boosting your speed because we have Trick Room up. Cool. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. They're still not ready for our, our Amoongus late game, too. Speed stat's gonna boost in Trick Room. Doesn't matter. It's actually slowing you down right now. And from here, let's see who they send out, because I might just put a curse onto a Pokemon, like King Gambit. I think I'd rather put a curse on the King Gambit. You could Sucker Punch me. You could definitely Sucker Punch me. Good hard swap here. Into maybe a Moongus at this point, and then just put a curse. Hmm. Saving Incineroar could be good. Saving Incineroar could be good. Yeah, I'm going to swap Incineroar. I'm just going to throw a curse onto you. Yeah, I'm going to throw a curse. I'm throwing a curse. Let's swap and Sonora. I am terrified of that Sucker Punch. So we had to get rid of our Sword Sands user, which isn't bad, but I'd rather have him. Amoongus comes out here, and there's the Sucker Punch. Good read on my end. And now we get that lovely little Amoongus, and on top of that, we pop a nice little curse. So I'm going to half my HP to set up a curse onto this King Gambit. Never thought I'd really be using this move. Scale Shot's probably going to KO us. Can you survive this? That's three. Oh, you can survive four, not five. You can survive four, not five. Let's go. Gengar surviving here, which is massive. This thing's defense is dropping. Um, Now's my time probably to attack it. I might just double down into this uh, Dragonite slot because my curse is slowly just chunking up damage here. It really is. It really is. So I'm actually just going to double down into this Pokemon and just do as much damage as I possibly can while curse just slowly chips away onto this uh, King Gambit. They're going to end up withdrawing Dragonite, so they're going to save the Dragonite. That's fine by me. Who are they going to swap into? Who's taking two Sludge Bombs? Not a good Pokemon to be taking two Sludge Bombs. And you protect King Gambit. I'll take this turn all day. This is a fine turn for me. Bye-bye, Wimscott. Amoongus doing a ridiculous amount of damage <laughs> with the Life Orb. Life Orb Amoongus getting after it, which we love. Which we love. There's that, the double down onto Sludge Bomb. We actually get to keep Gengar for yet another turn. And to be honest, this is great considering we can just slowly pester down this uh this King Gambit with Curse. This is why I want to put a Curse onto it. Like, look how much damage Curse does. What is it, five turns to KO? I love it. I love it. I really do. It's kind of like a mini Parish Song. Because you're just slowly dying. You're just slowly dying. So they bring back out Dragonite. Um... Last turn left in Trick Room. I think our best bet is to just put... Can I... Who should I Spore here? Dragonite? I think our best bet is just to put somebody to sleep. Or I could, you know, attack Dragonite here. I think we're just going to attack Dragonite. We'll double down. I could actually Sucker Punch if he's going to Sucker Punch. Yeah, you know, we're going to Sucker Punch. There's a hot chance that, that they Sucker Punch. He's going to go for Double Protect. Alright, whatever. Go for double protect. We're not attacking you. All right, you're just gonna protect you. All right, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So they want to waste out the last turn of Trick Room. I mean, your King Gambit is just slowly dying out. Your King Gambit is just—he's three turns away from dying. Three turns away from dying. Um, and honestly, honestly, I can Rage Powder set up another Trick Room and just win this game, right? I don't have Rage Powder. <laughs> I thought I did for a second. Alright, whatever. That's fine. Um, Honestly, we can just go for Energy Ball like King Gambit die, and then we can just play out this match. Actually, Sucker Punch might be better. Actually, you outspeed me now. Alright, whatever. We're gonna go for we're gonna go for a nice little Energy Ball here. There's no way you protect, you protect again King Gambit. And then we'll try to Sludge Bomb here. So I just want to be able to do enough damage with Amoongus where this next curse shot will take out the, uh, the King Gambit. That's kind of my plan. He's going to end up terrestrializing, going into a straight dark type. No big deal. Whatever. And maybe going for Sucker Punch here? What you got? Scale Shot's going to launch. Looks like you're going to go for a Caltech Cleave Amoongus. Nice little bulky. We do disable this move. Hoping Amoongus could just soak up the shot and pretty much just put this match away. Let's see. Let's see what you got for us. What you got? There's Cathal Cleave. We pretty much had to soak up this shot. And I don't know if we can do Cathal Cleave does damage. 
Mugus, I love you. I love you more than anything. And we get effect spore. Paralyzed now. <laughs> Even though you're dead. It don't matter. Let's go, Amoongus. Big dog Amoongus. Big dog Amoongus gonna energy ball finish off the King Gambit. Beautiful, lovely, just what we wanted. And now it turns into a 3v1, but we have two Pokemon low HP. But I really like where we're sitting. Oh, I forgot what life orb. We died of that? We did die to that. Amoongus sacrificing his life to take out one of them. Still, I like where we're sitting. Being able to bring out both of these guys. Um, I got the choice specs rolling. I got Ice Beam. They don't have Terra. Ice Beam's gonna KO. And what move should I use for Incineroar here? I guess just a knockoff. We do Intimidate, which is good. Yeah, so we'll just go for knockoff. We will go for Ice Beam. And that should be game, set, match. I mean, you're gonna get off. Uh, I was gonna say, you could probably get off Scale Shot, but they just cancel it. There we go. Hot start for your boy. We're sitting 1 0. So far, so good from your boy. We're going up against a Blaziken squad with Salamence. That is Intimidate Salamence. So we're going to have to watch out for that. They also have King Gambit. They got Wimscott. They got Rollaboom. We're going to have to bring out Gengar and pop Trick. We already know what's happening. So we're going to go Gengar here for a lead. Um, we could go Incineroar again, but there is a chance that they Intimidate us. We could go for that Sword Stance. That Sword Stance is just... It's really nice. It honestly is. It's just really nice all around. I could maybe just go into like Pelipper here. Um, the choice Specs. Um, I'm just kind of trying to think of like who they could possibly go into. We could just go into Incineroar, but they could go Defiant Boost. That'd be a slight issue on our hands. It really would be. I'm thinking of just going to Moongus. I really am. I'm going to go Moongus. We'll bring Incineroar in for late game. And last but not least, we could go Pelipper, but I'm feeling more so just like Arch Loot on here. Especially with the Soul Vest. Plus, it's pretty bulky. Hmm. Actually, hmm. We'll probably just go Pelipper. I, I like that squad that we brought in last game. The same squad as we did last game, just a different order. We're leading the Amoongus instead of Incineroar. And the reason being, obviously, Defiant on the King Gambit. We don't want to proc it right away. So if they end up leading King Gambit, or if they end up not leading anything, or if they end up leading Pokemon that we can Intimidate, I could just hard swap into Incineroar. But they're going to go Blaziken and like the Buzz. This could be a nice little Intimidate play. This could be, but yeah, we definitely want to pop Trick Room here. Trick Room, safe play. The Trick Room going to fly out here. Um, I could Terrasilize in a rock. I could. I could Terrasilize in a rock, but I think I'd rather just swap into Incineroar. Play it safe. I would just easily rather swap into Incineroar. Get off that Intimidate. We'll save Amoongus for later. And we're ready to roll. Of course, you're clear ammo. So clear ammo pops out from him. Intimidate your special attacking. We don't really get off any value, but they're going for follow me, which means Trick Room is guaranteed right now. Trick Room is guaranteed, and we don't like that. Luckily, we get off Trick Room. That's good news for us. That's great news for us. So Trick Room flies. I can hands down see a Protect from Blaze can pop out here. I really can. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. I can see a big time Protect coming out from Blaze can, which means I'm just going to make this read all day. I'm going to go. Actually, we're going to Terrasilize right now. I go for Swords Dance of our own. We're setting up Swords Dance right now. I was going to say, I am seeing a Protect from Blaziken, but there is a chance that, that they just go follow me attacking moves. So instead of going for just like a normal Swords Dance, I'm pretty much forced to Terrasilize and play it safe. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to Terrasilize here. And he ends up protecting Electabuzz. Electabuzz protects. Are we going to see a Double Protect? We do. Okay, so free Swords Dance for me. Um, I think now is a good turn for us to swap into Pelipper because if they want to go into any water move, or not water move, fire move, we can really block it. Plus, we can save our, our Gengar. Obviously, I am scared of Electabuzz. But yeah, I just think probably swapping into Pelipper here is our best bet. And then going into a knockoff into the Electabuzz slot. Because Chance Star Blaziken would rather go for a fire move right now. Into this Incineroar. And I doubt that he's going for a Flare Blitz here. Or not Flare Blitz, a Thunderbolt. Into the Gengar slot. I think Follow Me is probably the play. So I'm just going to attack this Electabuzz and let this Blaziken kind of just like stack speed boost. Let's see. What you got here? Just Follow Me. Let's follow Me out and about. We got the Rain cooking. Knockoff's gonna launch and do a ridiculous amount of damage. Awesome, lovely. 
I can offer Tebow like this as well. There's the Fire Blitz. Great call on R in to set the rain. Still does an absurd amount of damage. That's an absurd amount of damage in the rain. And this thing's speed boosted. So there is a hot chance that they do end up protecting again. Um, I think from here we could just go for Muddy Water. With the choice specs and just set up another Source Dance boost. I play all day. I know you, I know you probably got Grass Terror Blaziken. And I know you're probably just going to protect here. Or detect, but we have we should have two turns left in Trick Room, which is really val valuable to us. And I'm hoping I can just go Sword Stance here, double KO with Muddy Water, and then start getting after the next group. And there's a detect on you. Nice, lovely detect. Sword Stance popping. All we need to do is land this Muddy Water until Electabuzz, and we're really thriving out. So out comes Muddy Water. First one gets blocked. Second one, land, please. Please, thank you. I love you, Pelper. Love you forever, Pelper. Bye bye, Electabuzz. So Electabuzz gone. We got off another Sword Sands boost. My Incineroar is thriving here. We should have one turn left in Trick Room. Should have one final turn left in Trick Room. And Wimpscott's going to come out here. All right, Wimpscott, I see you. I understand. Um, Got to go for Muddy Water. I actually could hard swap you. Probably into you, and then just. Knock off this blaze again. He could go for a double detect. I don't know. You're gonna swap Pelper reset and probably just go for close combat into blaze again. We're plus four. We're plus four. We're plus four on attack. I mean, close combat should just be able to KO the blaze again. If I get rid of this blaze again right here, we're sitting really good. He withdrew blaze again. All right, I feel you. And King Gambit's in here, so King Gambit's dead. That's actually a bigger KO. I'd, I'd rather get rid of this thing. You encore me. Oh, no. Oh, no. That just screwed up everything. That was a great encore. I'll give it to him. That's a really good encore. That's a top-tier encore. That's a top-tier encore. And now I'm pretty much forced to attack because then I'm just going to get encored. Wow. Do I hard swap out? Wow. I'm encored in Swords Dance. We pretty much have this hard swap out. Wow. That's a that's a big time encore. That that saved them the match there. That might even win them the match. That close combat was dumping on King Gambit. We were gonna thrive out here. Everything was gonna get cooking. Gonna end up going into Moon Blast into the Pelper Slap. Pelper Sable Soak, which is beautiful, and a sword dance. The sword dances are flying today, man. There's no stopping sword dance right now. There really is no stop the Sword Sands. Sludge Bomb's gonna launch and it's just gonna KO him, Scott. Cool. We get a crit. I mean, we were dead regardless. You're grass and fairy. Get on out of here. So we KO you. Um, I don't see Flare Blitz KO on Amoongus, but we're gonna put try to put Blaziken to sleep at least. <laughs> and from here. Here we gotta put somebody to sleep. Who would I rather put to sleep? I'd probably rather put. Actually, Blaziken could go in the Grass Terror. They didn't use Terror yet, have they? They have not. So I'm going to do that, and... I'm just going to try to Hurricane this Blaziken down. I believe you're either Grass Terror or not going to Terror at all. I feel like Grass Terror is the only good Terror for Blaziken. Or Ghost. Either or. But now we're going to see a Terror type. Let's see. It's going to be King Gambit. So King Gambit gets a Terror type. And he's going straight Dark. I think he's looking to Kaltak leave Maya Moongus down. Which is not looking good. Amoongus would die. He ends up detecting smart play. Can you attack my Pelipper instead? Because I, I want to spore you. Can you attack my Pelipper? Man. Man, oh man. He ends up ripping into my Amoongus. I would have been at big time sleep. Because then I could bring out Gengar with Focus Ash. Pop Trick Room. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I feel like that's got to be my play. This is brutal. This is brutal. This is bad. This is bad news for us. Obviously, got to go for Trick Room. He's got Sucker Punch. He's got it all. He's got it all. That Encore was filthy. Did me so dirty. We're going to go for Trick Room here. And we, we got to stick with Hurricane. And we're just going to Hurricane this place. can try to look for KO. I can see him doubling down into Gengar here. I could. There's Fire Blitz. We're going to Sash up, which is beautiful news. Actually, I mean, it doesn't even bring us down to Sash. Let's see who he ends up attacking. Pelper? 
Pelper or Gengar? Let's see. Goes after Pelper. Pelper's dead, right? Yeah, Pelper dies out, but I do get off Trick Room. But at the same time, it's like, dude, you got Sucker Punch just ready to roll. Plus, you're about to go plus three because of... Oh, uh, yeah, this one's just... This is just a mess. Is there any chance I could win this game? I don't think so. With us being Ghost Tower right now. I can't we switch back our typings? Why can't we switch back? Yeah, so, I mean, Sucker Punch probably coming out from... From King Gambit, right? I gotta kinda hope that it doesn't, right? I gotta really hope that it doesn't. Might as well double down into King Gambit. Brutal. It's brutal. Sucker Punch is definitely flying. He protects. We could've just doubled down to Blaziken and maybe had a shot to win this game. Okay, no, they double protect. Okay. Alright, so they double protect to kind of read out what, we, what we're doing here. Um... I feel like they have to go for Sucker Punch, right? I feel like that's a must. It's a must for them to go for Sucker Punch. It's a must for them to go for Sucker Punch. It's an absolute must. Let's see how much damage Sludge Bomb could do there. I'm going to go for Sword Dance because I believe they're going for Sucker Punch. Yep, there it is. Alright, so, so far so good. Sludge Bomb, how much damage can you do here? Sludge Bomb? How much damage are you doing here? Maybe can you KO, get a crit or something? Don't tell me. Do not tell me. Do not tell me that. Do not tell me that. <laughs> we would have had a, at least a shot there. Would have turned into a 2v1. One HP bandit on the Blaziken. He's going to die out to recoil. And I mean, the only way we win this one is uh, through mind games. Because they're going to go for Sucker Punch again. So I'm just going to go for Sword Stance. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. And guess what? They're going to go for Sucker Punch again, and we're going to go for Sword Dance. Hopefully. So my plan here is to just go, like, keep going Sword Dance a couple times, and then, like, Trick Room, and then attack at the right time. How many turns left in Trick Room? One. This is the last turn. We kind of have to attack right now. Hopefully he thinks we're going for, for Sword Dance again. He could just attack to play it smart. Nope. He goes for Sucker Punch. Yeah, it's game set match. The problem here was Trick Room was ending, and then we were just too slow. So I would have went for another Sword Stance, but obviously, you guys see me check Trick Room. But GG Sword Opponent, again, that Encore saved them the game. GG's. So guys, we're sitting 1-1. One one. Everything has been working out pretty well so far. We're going up against a Dragapult meta team in our third and final match. They got Rollboom, Electabuzz, Primarina, Sneasler. And last but not least, King Gambit, who has been a little bit of a problem up against his team right now. So we might have to switch things up. Definitely want to go Gengar here, because we definitely need Trick Room. And on top of that, I could just go Incineroar again. Incineroar is a great lead, unless they're going King Gambit. Which makes me want to go into, like, Pelipper or something. I don't even know. Yeah, let's go Pelipper. Let's go Pelipper Basket Legion Smash. Try to switch it up a little bit and then have Incineroar late game. I like that. I like this a lot, so let's see how this one plays out. We're 1-1. One Looking for that 2-1 winning record, which would be absolutely amazing. And we can go from there. I think they're potentially going to lead, like, Rillaboom and Sneasler. And if they do, I might just hard swap into Incineroar, just because that Intimidate would be so valuable on two physical attackers. Um, they could lead King Gambit. They could lead Dragapult here as well. Dragapult just a speedy, big-time damage dealer. And there's another Pokemon that I don't want to deal with, just like King Gambit. Let's see how this one plays. Let's see. Because last match, we actually we played super well, but that Encore was so perfect. I was just like, all right, cool. Close combat. Going to finish off King Gambit. We are plus four on attack. He was like, nah, you know what? You're just going to stay with Sword Stance. And it was it was just too perfect. It really was. If we weren't Ghost type, it would have worked out because Dark Terror type would have actually uh, neutralized out the, uh, the Prankster. But we were Ghost Terror type and everything did not work out. But King Gambit is going to end up coming out here for the lead. I don't mind that too much. They could go for a Thunderbolt here. Um... I definitely want to set up this Trick Room. It's an important Trick Room. And I could Terrasalize into Grass. I just go Muddy Water. And that is going to be my play. I mean, Choice Specs. I, don't, I really don't want I really don't want Pelipper dying out to like a Volt Switch here or a Thunderbolt. That would just be bad news. Because I doubt they're really going to go for Follow Me. I think they'd rather just attack here. So I'm going to end up Terrasalizing. I'd rather get off a few turns with Pelipper. Like, it's Choice Spec. Choice Spec Muddy Waters. It does so much damage. In the Rain? Stab? Everything's going crazy here. Everything's going crazy. He's going to end up taunting me. That's totally fine. What do you think? I was setting up a Tailwind? 
Nah, nah, this seems definitely off meta right now. You're gonna sword stance? It's, this is fine. We're, we're fine with this. We are so fine with this. We are so fine with this. Muddy Water connecting. Beautiful sight to see. Doing huge damage. Great damage all around. And of course, I get the accuracy drop now. This thing's sitting plus. Oh my lord, that's, that's out of me. Alright, whatever. Whatever. So honestly, he can sucker punch. He's sitting plus two on attack now. Um. Hmm. Could end up hard swapping into like you and then just aqua jetting away. Um. I'm gonna make sure this like the buzz dies out. I had to do this. Let's double down. Sucker punch is scary right now. Follow me, flies. Show me no sucker punch. There's a sucker punch. Can we soak this? Yeah, no. Of course, accuracy drop gives this thing plus two. Now he's chilling. <laughs> now he's chilling on the field. Um, we're gonna go into Basque Legion. I'm hoping the sludge bomb can maybe KO. I don't think it can, to be honest with you guys. I get a poison. We do get a poison. Um. Yeah, we don't have terror type anymore. We do not have terror type. I gotta go into you. Um, I could probably protect this turn, get rid of the Electabuzz, and then Aqua Jet the Team Gambit. That's probably our best bet. That is definitely our best bet. Cause what's your speed? You're, you're pretty slow, right? You gotta be slower than this King Gambit. 74. Yeah, what a protect here. <clears throat> Play it simple. Play it simple. Play it real simple. Man, that accuracy drop really defiant boosted this King Gambit. That was like my whole plan of not leading in Cinderella. I was just like, I do not want to defiant boost this thing. And then I launched Muddy Water, does great damage. Everything was working fine. Then it was just like accuracy drop. This thing's plus two. E sucker punches my Pelipper. Pelipper stands no chance. Not a single chance. Not a single chance. So Protect comes out from my Basque Legion because there is a chance that he goes for following me here again. Oh, we need protect. That's a, that's a big time protect. That really is. That really hurts the soul there. There goes Kalthak Cleave. We are blocking that. Um. Can Poison KO? Can Poison KO? That's what I'm really hoping. So that's why I'm going to get blocked. Can Poison KO? I don't think it can. It can. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. That's actually huge. I need I need to get rid of the Electabuzz because I'm... I don't want to deal with the follow me, right? The follow me really throws a wrench in this situation. Because my plan here is to just Aqua Jet and KO this, uh... KO this, what's it called? This King Gambit. That's really my play here. That's really my play. We're gonna end up sending out Primarina in the rain. That's a little ugly. And I could honestly just like curse this thing. Actually, I'd rather just Sludge Bomb it. We're gonna go for Sludge Bomb. We're gonna Aqua Jet, look to KO this King Gambo, and we'll go from there. We shall go from there. My Pokemon are slow. This, this team is built around Trick Room. This is like speedy fast Pokemon, or Pokemon that you think are speedy fast, built really slow, and just getting work done. So ends up protecting Primarina. Smart call there, and Aqua Jet is going to finish off King Gambit. So that's a big time KO. There should be one turn left in Trick Room. I believe so. I believe so. Sludge Pump's looking mighty fine. Um, I think putting a curse onto a Pokemon might be a better option here. Maybe onto Primarina. Let's just see who they send out right now. It's gonna be Sneasler. Okay, Sneasler. We got two ghost types, which is pretty good. Um, one turn left in Trick Room. I think putting a curse on the Primarina is probably your play. Did they use Terra? No, they haven't. You could be Grass Terra though. I think just would I rather curse or just send a sludge bomb? I'm just gonna double down into this Pokemon. I really am. I got adaptability. I got all that stuff. You're not going to protect again. You're going to protect the Sneasler. You're going for double protect? That's the real question. You don't. Cool. This is just huge. Last respect does insane amount of damage. Hyper Voice going to launch. Eh. Does nice damage, but Gengar is going to be able to actually disable that and Sledge Bomb finish off Primarina, which is massive. So it turns into a 3v1 situation. We still have Incineroar. I really wanted to get rid of this Primarina because I knew I had Incineroar in the back end. And it was kind of like, okay, Incineroar is just going to get absolutely ripped up into that, considering we already used our Terra type. So bye-bye. Get on out of here, Primarina. And this is looking like we're going to go 2-1 for today's video, which is massive. Nice little winning record for us. Nice, lovely winning record. And honestly, we're going to hard swap Gengar. Just intimidate. And then we will launch yet another Last Respects. Cool, I think they cancel, though. 
I do believe there's a hot chance of them canceling. Or do they just trash slash and look to let the makeup play happen? But I mean, Intimidate's really gonna throw a wrench in, the, in their situation now. But it's weird, we went up against so many King Gambit today, and they were all a problem. They were all a problem. They were all tough for us to get off the field. The one we ended up cursing, which was good, actually worked out perfectly. The second one got the best of us, it was just too strong for us. And then this one right here, we ended up playing really well. Swapping in our Basket Legion at the right time, being able to Aqua Jet and just get rid of it. But we end up swapping into our Instant War, we intimidate the Sneasler. And they're gonna end up using their Terror type, looking to make something happen here. Which is a little bit of stellar action. A little bit of stellar action. I wonder who they're attacking here. I'm gonna go for a throw chop here. They're gonna take out Basket Legion, it looks like. No, they went after my Gengar slot, so that's a that's a perfect swap. That's a perfect swap. That's respects flies. Bring you down to one HP. And you are focus ash. You little booger, you're focus ash. Uh, I can see him protecting here because they probably think we're going for fake out. So I'm just gonna go for knockoff and even aqua jet. And I'm going to just spam that, and they just cancel match. So again, 2-1 for today's video. We grab ourselves a winning record. This team right here was so much fun. It threw off every opponent. Trick Room with Gengar, the rest of the team was slow. We were setting up Swords Dance with Incineroar. And we also had Amoongus, who did decent damage with Sludge Bomb. We love this Pokemon. We love this team all around. You got Rain Squad as well. Everything worked out perfectly. Again, Trick Room with Gengar set up the team. Pretty much propelled us to victory. You can go to one for today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots of the day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.